For five years, Quentin and Ali de Groot built Kauri House Auctions into a very successful business. Business was good. It was, uh, it was very strong even through the COVID times. We uh, managed to navigate a pretty difficult path through there, but we came out on top. And uh, yeah, last year was a, was a highlight, but it also, uh, also was a very, very busy year uh, and, and a lot of work. Uh, the auctions grew from 300-ish lots from when we started, and we were looking down the barrel of 700 lots at the end of last year. So it was time for a change because the, uh, the physical side of running an auction was a big toll. People see the lovely Wednesday room set up and the Thursday auction party day pretty much, but uh, involved in that is a lot of admin, the continual flushing of the room akin to moving house every single week. It was a big job. We decided to reflect on our life and um, how intense it was and decided to move forward um, in a different way. So we didn't want to sell the business but we didn't want to carry on as we were uh, so we decided to go to retail. We did in March this year and we haven't looked back. The loss of Hastings only auction house was an opportunity for Suzette Fostino who has a background in antiques from her native Portugal. With her partner, Craig Hatful, they have started House of Tibby in Hastings Southland Road, but have their sights set on the top end of the market. No drafty warehouse bidding here. All lots can be inspected, but bidding is done seated in a separate auction room where photos of all lots are shown. When I set up was no other auction house in, in Hastings. So we saw an opportunity in the market and we thought that would be a wonderful idea to have an auction house. We sell a little bit of anything and everything that a normal person would have in their garage, in their home. I enjoy quality and I enjoy especially antiques and collectibles. Back at Cody House, a retail shop would require a lot less labour and staff were given the bad news. But one employee also saw an opportunity. Kevin, who formerly owned an auction house, um, came to us and said, I'd quite like to continue it on. We've got a big warehouse out the back, and he decided that he would like to take that on in a part-time basis. I think it's an excellent win-win. I mean, they get someone to run their auction, so that takes their headache away. And uh, it gives me the opportunity to run my own auction house again. Kevin's previous auction house was in Carterton, and some of his old customers make the trek north to Hawke's Bay for his auctions. He says auctioneering is in his blood. So all finished and done at $520 for the kitchen. All finished and done at $520. $520. $520. Oh, I think, I think you either love it or you hate it. Um, I love it. Um, once I found Dunbar Sloan's down in Wellington, I used to go there every Tuesday, much to my wife's horror and uh, our lounge used to fill up with a whole load of stuff and then we used to sell it in our cafe and the cafe was failing and I was loving the auction so I decided I hmm, wonder how you become an auctioneer. He's not the only one with auctioneering in his blood. Veteran auctioneer Peter Maidens is opening a new business, Rata Auctions, in Tawanga from July 25 with an estate and tool auction due early August on the corner of Pippi Street. Kevin is not worried about any limits to the growth of his business, the auction house. I don't want to get that big. I mean, they used to do an auction every week and they used to have uh, five or 600 lots on a regular basis. We will probably be up to 300 lots. And more than that, the room won't take and more than that, I don't really want to do. <laughs> It's a, it's a life-work balance. <laughs> and the DeGroods say their retail business is doing well. What we've done here is we've created a space where we can enjoy the weird and wonderful and antique without having to do the box lots and things like that. And actually it's attracted a whole new crowd of clientele. A lot of people didn't enjoy 
the auction side of it. They wanted to be able to have that retail immediate purchase. If they liked it, they came in, they bought it. With the auction, it wasn't like that and they didn't enjoy the competitiveness of it. Our whole clientele has changed and it's been really good. People really enjoy it. So now there are three auction houses in Hastings, but the dominant auction house by far is Napier's Maidens and Foster which runs weekly general sales and regular antique and collectible sales. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus.